First question, do you believe in the legend is true? Uh, I haven't ever seen it personally, but I have talked to numerous people that had come out to the particular site, do the routine, and experience something they had not experienced before in life. Uh, different age brackets, uh, people who are now 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, they all have experienced something of that fashion that they will come up to uh, myself or someone else in the community and say, oh geez, yeah, when we were younger, we went out to the uh, place where they had the headless motorcycle, they did the uh, um, flash in the lights, and after three times of flash and lights, uh, something would somehow appear, some sort of light coming towards them, and uh, some of them experienced the light going through their vehicle, other ones uh, noticed something happens. So, uh, did I ever uh, do that? No. Uh, but I do know there's people out there that have. So, uh, how do you say one thing, uh, they're liars, so I just assume whatever they had experience uh, is, uh, is true to them, and uh, uh, you know, I've had some experiences it's un, unable to explain also. And if the people want to believe it, that's fine. If they don't want to believe it, that's fine too. I can sleep at night. Uh, about a psychic coming now, we're looking uh, to communicate. Uh, we had a lady from Oak Harbor that was living uh, in the area and she liked coming over to Elmore because she considered Elmore a very haunted community or psychic community where she experienced a lot of things in a town. The town was founded in 1851. Railroad was coming through and a lot of the old homes in the community and some newer homes. Uh, I, uh, I'll tell you another story shortly but she uh, had a sense, the psychic sense was able to uh, uh, read um, spirits and that and uh, her thought was she uh, in turn the idea of the motorcycle kind of paralleled the legend the gentleman was uh, uh, back from the war wanted to visit his girlfriend girlfriend saw somebody else, was seeing somebody else, or another version of uh, the farmer did not want the daughter to be dating the motorcyclist. Back at uh, World War I time frame, I'm sure they had even a stronger connection to uh, motorcycle images. So in turn, uh, uh, he left in a hurry and uh, lost control, decapitated. Head was missing and the headlight was missing after the uh, found the body, found the bike, but they never found the head or the uh, uh, headlight. And uh, from that, that's where the legend uh, comes about. And uh, she moved after uh, a while here in this region, then she moved out west. I have not had a chance to, to communicate with her or uh, get her phone number, but uh, I know she's probably still active. And if she comes back in this region uh, to visit family or friends, I'm sure she'll touch in with Elmore because she had a lot of uh, experiences. I drive over the bridge at night, does it creep you out? Uh, since uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how long ago they've changed it, but basically there was such an activity going on over at the uh, particular site that the county um, bridge road crews have changed it up to uh, minimize the effect of what it used to be looking like and hopefully discourage people from uh, utilizing that spot going out there. It is known on the Ides of March uh, which is the, uh, I think March 21st, uh, is when it should be most active, but I know there's other people that's gone out there different times throughout the year, uh, over the years that had uh, experienced it and it wasn't on the ice March. Uh, does it creep me out? No, uh, it doesn't. Uh, like I said, it has drastically changed over the years and it doesn't have the same ambiance as it did be, uh, when it firstly happened. Is Elmore part of the Great Black Swamp? Yes, it was. Uh, there was books uh, that talked about the Black Swamp in the area from the Bowling Green gets a lot of press in regards about the Black Swamp. This was still part of the Black Swamp. Uh, in the county of Ottawa, this is more of a little bit higher ground as you go closer to the lake, uh, to the other end of the county. Uh, it's a little lower level and you can drive some of the back roads around 
the county on that side, you can kind of get a feel of what the black swamp would have had a sense of because the, the some of the water is right up to the road. And if you if you're driving at night and uh, not knowing where you're going, it, it's not a, a not a feeling you want to be out in the swamp at night or in the uh, bog or whatever you want to call it. But uh, some of those old roads uh, out there at the other end of the county uh, is something to experience. And just imagine 150 years ago where, you know, you didn't have the paved roads and you had the horse and wagon or the oxen or whatever uh, to be driving around in uh, mosquito and tick infected. Uh, I got to give those uh, great, great grandparents uh, credit because I'll tell you, uh, I think they were made of a lot hardier material than uh, what we are today. So uh, uh, to take the land and, and uh, drain the land, great farmland, it's very rich, very good soil. The, the land around here, the farmers love. Uh, the crops are excellent, but uh, it was had to be an amazing feat to get this uh, whole region uh, drained from the mosquito infested waters to uh, make it livable. A lot of people died, I'm sure of that. Uh, we're getting known for our uh, motorcycle event called Grub and Suds. We've been doing that for about 15 years. And uh, that is always the Saturday after Labor Day. Every year it's the same. Brings a lot of uh, bikers comes in, a lot of uh, a few vendors come in. A great uh, family friendly, surprisingly, when you think about a motorcycle, but it's not family friendly, but it is uh, geared to a, a, you could be comfortable bringing your kids to it. And uh, it is uh, uh, something to behold the amount of bikes. They're there, all the different shapes and styles. Even some bikes are trikes or, or uh, V8 engines. I've seen a, a bike that come in with a V8 engine. Another event that we like to do is the uh, Tombstone Derby, which is motorized casket racing. And that's always a Saturday before Halloween. It's family friendly also, but uh, the main event is uh, uh, drag racing our caskets, uh, which is a, a hoot and, and it's very uh, casual. Again, family friendly, kids come in costumes. We have other events that go on during that day. And uh, uh, if you never experienced uh, that, it's something to uh, behold. So uh, it's a nice tie in with Halloween. People are fairly open, and uh, uh, it might be nice to uh, just come out and experience what small time uh, life is all about. Come on down.